You are the bastard, though. Lord Edit Stark is my father. And Lady Stark is not your mother, making you the bastard. Let me give you some advice, bastard. Never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not. Wear it like armor, and it can never be used to hurt you. What the hell do you know about being a bastard? All dwarves are bastards in their father's eyes. Well, even if the boy lives, it'd be a cripple, a grotesque. Give me a good, clean death any day. Speaking for the grotesques, I'd have to disagree. Death is so final, whereas life, ah, life is full of possibilities. I hope the boy does wake. I'd be very interested to hear what he has to say. I must do my part for the honor of my house, wouldn't you agree? But how? Well, my brother has his sword, and I have my mind. And a mind needs books like a sword needs a whetstone. That's why I read so much, Jon Snow. Will I really be able to ride? You will. On horseback, you'll be as tall as any of them. Is this some kind of trick? Why do you want to help him? I have a tender spot in my heart for cripples, bastards, and broken things. Oh, you blind bloody fool! You can't insult me! We've had vicious kings, and we've had idiot kings, but I don't know if we've ever been cursed with a vicious idiot for you, you can! I can, I am! They attacked me! They threw a cow pie at you, so you decide to kill them all! They're starving, you fool! All because of a war you started! You're talking to a king! Ah! And now I've struck a king! Did my hand fall from my wrist? Where is the Stark girl? Let them have her! If she dies, you'll never get your Uncle Jamie back. You owe him quite a bit, you know. If we can't control him... Do you think I haven't tried? He doesn't listen to me. It's hard to put a leash on a dog once you've put a crown on its head. I always hoped he'd be like Jamie. Do you know how to use that? Chopped wood once. No, I watched my brother chopping wood. I saw you kill a man with a shield. You'll be unstoppable with an axe. Don't get killed. Nor you, my friend. Oh, are we friends now? Of course we are. Just because I pay you for your services doesn't diminish our friendship. Enhances it, really. Oh, enhances. Fancy word for a sellsword. Been spending time with fancy folks. Oh, Rose, the redhead. How do you know her? I try to know as many people as I can. I never know which one you'll need. She's a whore. Yes, well, we shouldn't be judgmental about these things. You seem rather drunk. Rather less than I planned to be. Isn't it a man's duty to be drunk at his own wedding? This isn't about your wedding. Rene Baratheon had a wedding. Your wife needs a child, a Lannister child, as soon as possible. And if you're going to give her one, you need to perform. What did you once call me? A drunken little lust-filled beast. More than once. There you have it. Nothing to worry about. Drinking and lust. No man can match me in these things. I am the god of jits and wine. I shall build a shrine to myself at the next brothel I visit. You can drink, you can joke, you can engage in juvenile attempts to make your father uncomfortable, but you will do your duty. She is no longer yours to torment. Everyone is mine to torment. You do well to remember that, you little monster. Oh, I'm a monster. Perhaps you should speak to me more softly then. Monsters are dangerous, and just now, kings are dying like flies. Keep up. I don't think I can, my lord. It's not easy being drunk all the time. 
everyone would do it if it were easy. Leave. How long does it go on? Until we've dealt with all our enemies. Every time we deal with an enemy, we create two more. And I suppose it will go on for quite a long time. I made a deal for you. To keep your ungrateful head on your ungrateful neck a little while longer. I'm sorry, what am I grateful for? The opportunity to live and die at the wall as punishment for a crime I did not commit? You threw your life away. You threw it away. It's not a joke. You understand that, don't you? Of course it's a joke. Just not a very funny one. Why are you worth meeting? Why should I spend my time listening to you? Because you cannot build a better world on your own. You have no one at your side who understands the land you want to rule. The strengths and weaknesses of the houses that will either join or oppose you. I will have a very large army. And very large dragons. Killing and politics aren't always the same thing. When I served as Hand of the King, I did quite well with the latter, considering the king in question preferred torturing animals to leading his people. I could do an even better job, advising a ruler worth the name, if that is indeed what you are. You love her, don't you? How could you not? Of course, it's hopeless for the both of you. A cell sword from the fighting pits and a disgraced knight. Neither one of you is fit consort for a queen. But we always want the wrong woman. Does he always talk so much? They need to know Daenerys is responsible for it. The sons of the Harpy have a good story. Resist the foreign invaders. Our queen has an even better story. Mother of dragons, breaker of chains, and all that. The people know who brought them freedom. Yes, but do they know who brought them security? Who brought about an end to the violence? We need someone the people trust. Someone they know cannot be bought or influenced. Sounds like quite the hero. Where will we find him? Who said anything about him? All right. How about the fact that this is actually happening? You have your armies. You have your ships. You have your dragons. Everything you've ever wanted, since you were old enough to want anything. It's all yours of the taking. Are you afraid? Good. You're in the great game now. And the great game is terrifying. I'm not playing word games with you. The dead are coming for us all. Why don't you figure out what to do about my missing fleet and murdered allies? And I'll figure out what to do about your walking dead men. It's hard for me to fathom, it really is. If someone told me about the White Walkers and the Night King... You probably don't believe me. I do, actually. You didn't before. Grumpkins and Snarks, you called them. Do you remember? You said it was all nonsense. It was nonsense. Everybody knew it. But then Mormont saw them, and you saw them, and I trust the eyes of an honest man more than I trust what everybody knows. He was going to execute me. He knew I was innocent. He didn't hate me because of anything I did. He hated me because of what I am. A little monster sent to punish him. Did you think, did you think I wanted to be born this way? Did you think I chose? What do you want? Born hall, you can't abduct, beat, or intimidate. That must be difficult for you. So you bring her here with her pet Norgan, whom you've convinced about down before I her. I didn't know and about that. And now you've that. got both working towards the same goal, the goal you've worked towards your entire life. Cersei, I didn't the know. The destruction of this family. I am the one preventing that from happening. Daenerys didn't want to debate and negotiate. She didn't want to bring you words. She wanted to bring you fire and blood until I advised her otherwise. I don't want to destroy our family. I never have. You killed our father. After he sentenced me to death for a crime I didn't commit. Yes, I killed him. 
Hate me for it if you want. I hate myself for it, in spite of what he was, in spite of what he did to me. Oh, poor little man. If Papa was mean to you, do you have any idea what you did when you fired that crossbow? You left us open. You laid us bare for the vultures, and the vultures came and tore us apart. You may not have killed Joffrey, but you killed Marcella, you killed Tommen. No one would have touched them if Father was here, no one would have dared. I've never been more sorry about anything. I will not hear it, not from you. I will not hear it! All right. 